Hey everyone, this is part two of a two-part series on common mistakes in Adobe After Effects and how to fix them. We're going to link uh, part one down below in the description when it comes out. Um, if you hear weird sounds, that is my cat trying to help me out with this tutorial. He doesn't know anything about Adobe After Effects, but he does provide moral support um, and sometimes destroys my equipment. So um, yeah, if you hear weird noises, that's him. Hey man, hey Bobka. Anyways, on to the tutorial. All right, sometimes when you're clicking around in After Effects, you might actually double click a layer. And all that does, it takes you inside that layer's individual pre-comp. You can see its own timeline. All you gotta do is navigate over here to go back to your original. And if you accidentally click inside a piece of footage like this, it's just gonna open up like a layer panel. Again, let's head back here with composition one. So the next thing in After Effects, some you see all these switches down here? Now, if you're looking for uh, color modes and that kind of thing, you want to hit toggle switches and modes, right? That'll show you like your track mat, your parent and link uh, column mode, you know, for your layer modes. But either way, let's say you're not seeing any of these guys, even when you hit toggle switches and modes. It might be because you've accidentally hid some of these guys, you know? So you might be seeing this instead. Now, this happens when you've hidden a couple of these columns. Now the way to reveal them again is you right click on any of these columns, you go over to columns, and then you find the one that you're missing, and then you just add it back in. Now if you like having these panes, these columns in a particular order, you can grab them and actually move them around to like fit however you want your workplace to be. Not only that, you see down here, this is real small, but you see the couple of switches over here. So each of these expands or collapses each of these panes. So if you want to see all your options on the layer switches pane, then you hit this leftmost button. But if you don't, you just hide it. You know, this goes for the transfer controls pane. I just hit it. And for this, this is the in, out, and duration and stretch panes. So that's like determining on how long your composition is. So that I could really extend to see all, you know, the timestamps for how long each layer is. And finally, We've got the render time pane. Once I open that up, it'll tell me how long each of these has in terms of render time. So sometimes in your animation, you'll be able to see like an object in your composition window here. But when you go to look for it in the timeline, you can't seem to find it. Like, where is my dog layer over here? When that happens, make sure that your shy switch isn't set on this thing. It kind of looks like uh, Kilroy was here kind of deal. Like a person with a big nose looking over a wall. And you'll see it's blue, which means it's switched on. So I'm going to hit it, and there, there's my dog layer again. And you can see that the shy switch has been activated because the little guy is hiding. So I'm going to turn that back on. And now, even if I accidentally hit this, they're not going to disappear. Conversely, if they're already hidden, they're going to become visible, which is how you can spot your missing layer. All right, another common mistake. So you're getting this error message. It says a file cannot be found. Don't freak out. This is real easy to do. I'm going to hit OK. What's happening here is After Effects. After Effects is very straightforward in how it thinks. Basically, it's like if you put a file in a certain folder, it's only going to look in the initial folder that the file was in. So in order to fix that, we're going to go over to whatever is missing. And you can tell what's missing because it's got this little corrupted icon over here. You're going to right click on it and you're going to hit Replace Footage File. You can see Control or Command H is the shortcut for that. You can also call this relinking, but technically it's called replace. That'll bring up your file explorer over here. So start looking for where you moved the folder or moved the file. There we go. I found the yipping dog right here in this folder. Just hit import. Here you go. It's fixed right up. In some cases, you'll even see the corrupted file within the composition window. It looks just the same as that colorful block, but nothing's changed about the method. That's how you fix it. All right. Now I know this file suddenly looks very different, but this is all temporary. I basically applied a few, uh, fill effects and a couple of masks to the dog. So I'm going to show you how order of effects and masks within a layer can alter that layer's appearance. So let's say you're like, okay, I don't like the color of my whatever. I'm going to use the fill effect over here. I'm going to change it to periwinkle, right? And then you're like, well, actually, I think I want it maybe more like a fuchsia. I'm going to add a couple of masks also to play around with it. And you're like, why am I not seeing my fuchsia color? So check it out. If you go over to whatever layer you're working with and you open up all the properties here, now you know that you've added these effects, the fill one and the fill two. Now, if fill two is above fill one, and I'm gonna drag it down, see? 
whatever effect is on top, that's the one that's going to show through. Now, if the one that you want is not appearing, check to make sure that it's not squished at the bottom of its own layer stack here. Same goes for masks. Let's say you're like, I don't want this effect. This is not the one that I wanted. So again, make sure that your masks are ordered correctly. Maybe this is the effect that you wanted instead. This is just a general tip, but if you find that your machine is moving real slow, you might have too many assets running within the project. And so I'll show you ways to clean that up. First off, you can just, you know, delete a couple. Secondly, if you have a couple of uh, like effects, like this adjustment layer or the paper, these paper textures that take up a lot of memory, hide them till the very end. That should improve your performance. And finally, head over to Edit, Preferences, Media and Disk Cache. Make sure that Enable Disk Cache is, you know, enabled. And then hit Empty Disk Cache. Make sure you hit OK. Hit OK again. And that should help speed things up. So let's say you have a looping animation, like this weird one I just made. We have a full tutorial on how to make those, by the way, so check those out. And let's say you get an expression error, like this. It's likely that you deleted some keyframes by accident. Clicking on the error message in this magnifying glass here is going to highlight where the error is. And of course, we know it's here because it's the only thing that is a looping expression. Putting the keyframes back should fix that. All right. Finally, let's say that the files that you're outputting are absolutely massive. It's likely that you selected the wrong format to export in. So you've hit render settings, you've gotten this far. So in order to open up this window, you want to hit over here, output module, lossless. Go over to format, and now you've got AVI selected. Those things are huge. Generally, it's a better idea to try to use something like H.264, which again, a video is always going to be big, but there are bigger and smaller video formats. Another thing to do, let's head back to comp one, remember to trim the end of your animation because it might be really, really far. Like, you know, this is 14 seconds and that's much more than we need in order to show up this animation. Remember to trim it by either sliding this little thing, this little in and out point on your timeline or just hitting N to end your timeline over here. So yep, yeah, that's a whole bunch of common issues you might come across in the program. Don't feel bad if you get into a few issues like this. I know that learning anything new can be difficult and frustrating, but these are common. Just in general, keep your project organized, make sure you've got the correct boxes checked and modes toggled, and you'll be golden. So yeah, that's all for this tutorial. I hope you've enjoyed learning how to fix those common issues in Adobe After Effects. So this has been Support Designs for Noble Desktop.